All right, hello everybody there. Retro Game Nerd here. I'm gonna do a video here that's you know, my darn camera keeps falling over. But a video here here that a uh, few people have requested, and I keep saying I'm gonna do it, and I just haven't had time to get to it. So it's now one 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 thirty in the morning, something like that. And I figured I'm gonna get into it so we can get some video shot here of uh, my modded Xbox. Uh, this is the original Xbox, not the Xbox 360, but I'll go ahead and boot it up here. My camera just... I cannot find my other tripod anywhere. So I'm using this makeshift tripod. But anyway, this is... it's soft modded. Uh, it boots up to... Uh, this is the dashboard I put on it is Unleashed X and uh, one person was interested on what games I have on it, wanted a list of the games I have on it. I mean really there are so many games on here I could go through and list them all out but however what I've done is it has a 200 gigabyte um, drive in it and uh, I got it set up here to uh, boot up to this Unleashed dashboard and from here you got the options of launch DVD um, your games you can actually install games to the hard drive I haven't done any of those yet games meaning like regular Xbox games applications I got DVD to Xbox which is to copy uh, DVD movies to the Xbox or games to the Xbox um, text editor XBMC which is Xbox Media Center. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Emulators. I got the Atari 7800. Um, click on that. Give you an idea here. Boots into boots into this here. Um, main menu. Select the game. I mean they're tons and tons of games here. I mean, I can, I, all the games I have on here as far as this goes, uh, return back to the launcher. This here will take me back to the dashboard. Um, go back to emulators. Uh, Atari Lynx. Uh, Bliss X, which is the emulator for uh, Intellivision. Uh, Coin Ops 4 uh, has a lot of duplicated uh, emulators on there, but it also has uh, arcade emulator on there, and I'll show you here that a little bit. Uh, ColecoVision, NES, Neo Geo Pocket, Sega Master System. Again, the NES, the Sega Master System, as far as I can tell, they have every single uh, game in there, including some foreign games. Uh, Super Nintendo, same thing. I think all the games are there. Uh, TurboGrafx-16, Exploit, or Exploit, Game Boy Advance, and uh, Z26X, which I'm not really sure if that is. But even an idea here, we'll go into. Uh, Super Nintendo. And, uh, go in the game launcher. And here's a list of the games. And I'll just hold down the right trigger button and scroll through all the games. And we're still scrolling. And we're still scrolling. Now we're in the D's, in the E's, in the F's, and G's, and H's, I's. And we're still scrolling through the. And we're still scrolling. And keep in mind, this is just the games for the Super Nintendo. So, you know, <laughs> and I'm still going there we're finally done 
But, you know, for the people that wanted me to list all the games are, I, you just can't. There are just so many of them. I gotta figure out how to get back now. It's usually a set of buttons. Well, watch the game. So, I mean, it does boot up. This is, again, I never played this game, but. It's like a puzzle game. Figure out the button combination and go back into uh, the menu. I would just can't remember what it is, so I'm just going to reboot the console. However, there is a, a menu combination to actually boot up to the uh. Or not boot up, but to go back to the main menu. And I just don't remember what the button combination was. It's been a while since I've played with this. But I'll go back under emulators. Coin Ops is pretty neat. Um, I'll kind of show you Coin Ops. I'm actually thinking about doing this and building a main machine out of it. And I'll show you why, because Coin Ops is pretty neat. Fender, you know, Contra. I mean, there's tons of games. I'm still scrolling through all of them. Here's your Mortal Kombat. If you like Mortal Kombat, there's Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 1 is what I usually play a lot of. Just because that's what I used to play on the arcade growing up. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. Uh, 3 Ultimate, Mortal Kombat 2, 3 Treasures, Miss Pac-Man, and it has a really nice uh, interface here. Menu here to reboot Xbox. I'm going to reboot the Xbox. And then we'll go back under applications again. Xbox Media Center. And this is where you get pictures you put pictures on, your weather. Um, videos I don't have no videos saved to here but however I do have a media server um, so within that media server I can connect to it you know, title and what's really neat is it actually downloads so you set it up in the settings to wherever you want it to, to talk to but and go out and pull this information from the web and it'll download pictures, content of, or information about the movie. Um, it's really neat. And music the same way. I, I got my music set up on my media server. Um, can't really tell, but yeah, it's 120 in the morning. Um, it's 48 degrees outside. Come here and reboot. 
and that'll bring us back to the main menu. It's a really quick video, I know, but uh, I just wanted to give everybody a quick rundown of what's, what's involved in it, because I had a couple people ask me, one person wants me to actually do this for them, mod their Xbox, uh, so I gotta... So whenever they send it to me, I can do that for them. But this is what it should look like when I'm done with it, because I'll just end up probably copying my my hard drive here and mirroring it minus uh, the e prompt. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this quick video, and uh, please uh, feel free to leave comments below. And everybody have a great day.